Hey, it's Marissa from Atio, and today we're going to take a look at how you can harness the power of AI in your workflows. There are five AI-powered blocks within Atio. There's Classify Record, Classify Text, Prompt Completion, and Summarize Record. Then over here in the Agent section, you have Research Record. In this video, we're going to take a look at the first four, but we have another video which runs through the Agent block in detail, so make sure to check that out as well. We'll start with the classify record and summarize record, which we're using together in one workflow to ensure a smooth sales handover from sales to customer success, and that the customer success team have quick and easy access to the key details about each account's history. This workflow starts with the trigger and action combination that we've used in a few different videos now, which is record updated on the status attribute of the deals object, and then a filter to check that that new status is one. So this means that the remainder of the workflow blocks will run any time a deal is moved into the closed one stage. Then we use our first AI block, Summarize Record, which will take the attributes of a record and generate a summary. For this, I want to provide the customer success team with a summary of the deal. So the record variable we're using is the updated record, which is the one deal. And in the guidance, I've added some instructions on what I want the Summarize Record block to do and which variables must be included. Next is classify record. This block, similarly to summarize record, will summarize the attributes of a record, but the difference is that it will convert this into tags instead of free text. I want the block to take the associated company of the deal record and return a tag to highlight what type of business it is. I've added in categories that we use to segment our customers. So now the classify record block will select which of these this specific company belongs to. So far, we've used two AI blocks, Summarize Record and Classify Record, to return the data about specific records, but now we need to store that data somewhere. So the final step in this workflow is adding a record to our customer success list. This is a list of companies, so we're going to add the associated company for the updated deal record. I've used a combination of fixed values and variables to populate key attributes, but the two that I want to focus on here are the deal notes and tag, as this is where we'll be pushing the data that was generated by the AI blocks. For deal notes, we are using the summary variable from two steps prior, and for tag, the tags variable from one step prior. One key thing to note with the tags is that you'll need to ensure that these tags provided to the AI block match the select options for the attribute where you plan to store that data. So I had technology, agency, marketing, and finance as my tag options, and these match the select options for this industry variable. So let's see this workflow in action on this deal record. I'll change the stage of the deal to one, and then I'll head over to my customer success list. And I can see here that the company has been added to the list and populated with data from our AI blocks. The third AI block is classified text, which will take freeform text and classify it into tags. This is a useful tool anytime you want to categorize human generated text in things like forms or surveys. The classified text block is used here as part of a larger workflow, which we covered in our workflows introduction video. For this video, we're looking at this specific section down here where classified text is the first action block for condition three of the switch, which is for when a workspace status is canceled. During the cancellation process, users will be asked to fill out a short form. One of the questions is why they want to cancel. We add their answers to the workspace record and then use the classified text block to summarize it into tags. By storing these standardized churn reasons on each canceled workspace, our customer success and product teams can understand the most common causes for churn as they plan out retention programs and product roadmaps. The final AI block in this video is prompt completion, which provides an LLM response to your custom prompt. Here is a workflow that is triggered when someone fills out an inquiry form on our website. It then creates or updates a person record using the email address that the person filling out the form provided. And finally, it adds that person to an inbound leads list. One of the questions in the type form is where are you based? We're not limited to a specific region and there are too many countries to list in drop downs or multiple choice options, which leads to spelling or formatting errors in responses, complicating data use for filtering views, tracking lead sources or assigning them to the correct sales reps. To fix this, we'll use the prompt completion block as a tool for data cleaning. I'm going to add the block here after the trigger and before the create or update record block. I need to add in a prompt and choose which variables the AI block should be taking into account. 
For this, I will ask it to convert the type form answer to where are you based into an ISO country code. And then I'll just quickly update the add record to list block to use this completion as the value for the country instead of the raw text that was provided in the type form. I have my type form here and I'm going to just quickly fill it out. I'm based in London, so I'll provide that as my answer, but this is not an ISO country code, so the workflow will need to correct this. I'll submit now and head over to my inbound leads list. London is, of course, within the United Kingdom or Great Britain, and the ISO country code is GB. So we'll see the country attribute populating with that value as the workflow runs. So that's an overview of four out of five of our AI workflow blocks. Classify record, summarize record, classify text, and prompt completion. And don't forget to watch our research agent video to see how you can research anything on the web right inside your Atio workflows.